if you order an X-Pro Heli that has a GPS unit, you'll be getting the really nice Spectrum DX8 controller, also known as a radio. This controller has lots of features. It's really high-end, has a great range. It's one of my favorite controllers I've ever used. It's really nice, and I'm going to be sharing with you some of the features that we have configured it for you so you can start flying right away. First off, you don't have to do any programming when you get your package. This is ready to fly, turn it on, should be good to go. We made it really simple with these stickers all over the controller that shows you what switch does what and how we programmed it. And also you'll be getting the included manual, the charger, and everything you need to um, get this thing going. So when you turn it on, you have to make sure that your throttle's down and all your switches are flipped back that way. If your switch, some switches are flipped forward or your throttle's up a little bit and you turn it on, it's going to be squawking at you and ask you to move those switches down and, and push them back all the way. This is for safety reasons, so it's really nice. What we did is we labeled these stickers on the side here with um, what switch does what. So this switch on the left says it, an M for manual, an A for altitude mode, and GPS mode. This is your different flight control modes. So it's a three-way switch, and you can see it's very simple. Forward is manual, middle is altitude hold, and back is GPS. This one's your course lock switch. Off, course lock, and then or intelligent home lock. You have to learn more about those later on. And then we have a knob up here. It's the remote gain knob. This knob allows you to adjust the gain inside the gyros of the NASA flight control board when you're flying. So if it feels like it's too sensitive, you can dial it down. It feels like it's too wishy-washy, you can dial it back up. Really cool feature. And then this switch right here, this is your fail-safe switch. And this will return to home if activated. So when you're in GPS mode and you hit the fail-safe switch, what your helicopter is going to do, it's going to go up 60 feet and then try to fly back to where you first powered the helicopter on and it got the GPS lock. So that's how the fail-safe switch works. You can also deactivate it in the air at any time. So if you don't want it to be autonomous and you, can, and you accidentally hit it, you can deactivate it. It's important to keep your charger um, charged when you're flying. If it's not charged, it will squawk at you and tell you it needs more battery power. There's a battery meter right there. One thing that we don't have a sticker for, but there is already a sticker on the controller, is this little button right here is your timer switch. And right now it's set for five minutes, but you can change it to whatever you want to. Uh, we recommend flying anywhere between around seven to 10 minutes. And you can hit the switch again to stop the timer, hit it again to start it and do the countdown. And if you want to reset the timer, you just hit the clear button right here and it resets it. That's the basic functionality of the DX8 and that's all you really need to know to start flying. So have fun.